night, 24 young girls removed from a reformatory camp in Humansville, Missouri. Now, Circle of Hope Girls Ranch is under investigation after multiple allegations of abuse. Our Jesse Inman is investigating this story after being tipped off by a local newspaper. Just a few miles west of Highway 13 on N Highway sits Circle of Hope Girls Ranch, a facility that identifies as a faith-based reformatory school for young women who were, quote, destroying their lives through poor choices and behaviors with a mission to, quote, use the Bible to teach them that they are to obey their parents and the authority over them. At the Cedar County Republican, editor Miles Bright and reporter Catherine Skopek have been tracking allegations of abuse there for months. Bright says Skopek, their lead reporter, has heard from a double-digit amount of accusers. She has spent hours upon hours discussing these things, doing on-the-record interviews with these accusers, and largely stories from girls who were there you know, a dozen years apart and were complete strangers had essentially identical stories to tell in some circumstances. Physical, emotional, and sexual abuse have been all have been alleged there. But Bright says they've held off on sharing those stories, waiting for some kind of legal action to take place at Circle of Hope. And last week, that finally happened. Bright says 24 girls were removed from the ranch by Child Protective Services, and that was confirmed to us by Cedar County Prosecutor Ty Gaither. Children were removed from the Circle of Hope as part of an investigation involving several state agencies, including the Cedar County Sheriff's Department. The Sheriff's Department and Sheriff James McCrary have yet to return our calls. According to the Cedar County Assessor's Office, Circle of Hope is owned by Boyd and Stephanie Householder. Bright says they've reached out to the Householder family multiple times for comment who have denied the allegations and deferred reporters to his legal counsel, Attorney Jay Kirksey in Bolivar. They specialize in representing victims of sexual harassment or misconduct, and he said to the the paper, quote, the source of those allegations are young women who have troubled pasts, who have biases and prejudices, who have no credibility. My parents, Boyd and Stephanie Householder, um, actually opened Circle of Hope in 2006. One of those women making allegations is 29-year-old Amanda Householder, the Householder's daughter. They threw me in a um, orange shirt, which is the lowest ranking shirt in the girl, because they have a shirt system. and. Um, threw me on the wall. Standing on the wall, the only thing you can do is look at the wall or read your Bible. You cannot go to the bathroom when you have to. I ended up with a severe UTI. The girl who had her hair chopped off when I was there, um, she wanted to be a masseuse, and so um, my dad would have her massage his head. These girls had to walk around quacking like a duck. My dad would pick up a girl anywhere, um, usually it was on their neck, and slam them to the ground and yell restrain. Now, if you heard the word restrain, you had to come running if you were a red shirt. You had to put all of your weight on the pressure points of the girls, um, the back of their legs, the back of their arms, or uh, their arms, and then my dad would be kneeling on the girls, the back of the girl's neck. Amanda says she knows of multiple girls who claim to have been raped or molested at the ranch. The Cedar County Republican plans to share some of the victims' allegations soon. We're not done telling this story. In Springfield, Jesse Inman, Ozarks First. We have reached out to the householders at a disconnected phone line now. Kirksey Law Firm multiple times this week left multiple messages and have gotten no calls back either. We have requested information from the Department of Social Services to see if there has been any history of complaints against Circle of Hope. Any updates we will follow and will also be shared on OzarksFirst.com.